Hello, you are welcome. Here we want to find the value of x in this nice algebra equation. We are given x root x, then inside that we have root x equals to 2. From here, let's take the square on both sides. We square this side and also square this side. The square here we affect x here and it will affect this square root so we are going to have x square then multiply by this square we cancel square root and we have x root x left here equals to let's still leave this as 2 square then in the next step let's square again before then let's make this together and uh, this is x raised to power 1 then when we apply the law of indices same base then we can add the power we have x cube then root x which is equal to 2 square then from here we can now square both sides we square this side also we square this side then from here this square also we affect s cube and to affect root x so x cube, you know, will become x raised to power 6, 3 times 2, that's 6, then times square root will be cancelled by the square. We have x left, which is equal to 2 raised to power 2 times 2, which is 4. And uh, in the next step as well, we have x raised to power 1 here. So we can say from the law of indices, this becomes x raised to power 7, which is equal to... 2 raised to power 4 we can equally write it as 16 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that's 16 then from here raise both sides to 1 over 7 raise both sides to 1 over 7 because we want to remove this power of 7 then when they multiply this 7 we cancel this 7 and uh, we have x is now equals to 16 raised to power 1 over 7, which we can also write again and say x will be equals to 7th root or 16. Now, from here, let's check from what we have. We have x root x, then root x equals to 2. Then when we put x to be equal to 16 raised to power 1 over 7, so this will become 16 to the power of 1 over 7, then square root of 16 to the power of 1 over 7, then also inside that we have square root of 16 to the power 1 over 7, is it equals to 2 from here then when we simplify this further this square root can be changed and uh, we write it as raised to power instead of square root we write raised to power half here same thing as square root of that then this power multiply it becomes 7 times 2 here which is going to be 1 over 14 so we have raised to power 1 over 14 there, which is now 16 raised to power 1 over 7. Then square root of 16 raised to power 1 over 7. Then times 16 raised to power 1 over 14 now. Then also from the law of indices, we already have 16 base 16. Then we can add this power together, which will give us 3 over 14 now. Then we have 16 raised to power 1 over 7, then multiply by 16 raised to power 3 over 14. Then this square root here, also write it as raised to power half. Then from here, is this equal to 2? Then when we multiply this, this will give us 3 over 28 from here. So we have 16 raised to power 1 over 7 multiply by 16 raised to power 3 over 28 is this equals to 2 
Then also the SCM here is 28. And when you bring it together as one, that will give us 4 up here now because 7 going 28, that's 4, then it's 1, that's 4, 4 plus 3, that's 7. So we are going to have 16 raised to power 7 over 28 now. Here we have 16 raised to power 7 over 28. Is this equals to 2 from here? Then when we look at this, 7 over 28, we can reduce it as 16 raised to power 1 over 4. Because 4 times 7 goes 28, 4 times, is this equals to 2 from here? Then, in the same way, 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4. Then, raised to the power 1 over 4, is it equals to 2? Now, when this multiply each other here, this power multiply 4 cancel 4, then that's 2 equals to 2. The left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then, from here, we conclude that x from here is equals to 16 raised to the power 1 over 7. That is, we can all quality write it as 7 truth of. 16. Thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. Also, put in the comment section if you have another way of solving this. Thank you. See you next class. Then. Bye for now.